combination of symbols on worksheets are as follows. Use coloring crayons to color the picture. Use your finger to follow the track or line or show the correct picture. Use a coloring crayon to draw a line or write a number or sound. Look at the picture and say the number or sound out loud. Use a scissors to cut on the dotted line. Look at the picture. Use these symbols for the lesson of the day, which will be allocated at the top right side of each page. For example, lesson one, prepositions and directions. Welcome to My Zone Online School. My name is Teacher Mutsa, and today I have a special friend with me. Let's say hi to everyone at home. Hello. Our topic this week has been My School. On our last lesson, we talked about visual discrimination, where we used our eyes to see what was missing and what was bigger than something else. For this lesson, lesson number three, we will be talking about counting in numbers as well as the letter S. Now, before we start, we need to sanitize our hands. So please take your sanitizer, a little bit, yes, inside, in between, round and round, and on your wrist. If you'd like to check if you are practicing good social distancing, you can use your hands. You space them out on the sides and in front of you. Wonderful. Now we can begin. Our first exercise can be found on page 14. You can see on that page a beautiful sun one sun. Now one sometimes looks like this, where it has a head and going down. But the one I want you to draw in your books, it is up going down. So please complete the one in the boxes that you can see below. Very good. I'd like us now to turn to the next page. On the next page, we can see that we have a line of ones. We have a single one going down, and then we have a dotted one going down. I want you to please complete that line going across, starting from your single one. And don't worry if the ones are not straight, just take your time and make sure they are perfect. Whilst you are doing that, I want to tell you a little poem that I learned about the story we can see in our books. There was a little girl named Little Miss Muffet, and she was sitting on a tuffet, and she was eating a beautiful dish called Curves and Ways. But then a spider came to her and she got a fright and she ran away. So the poem goes like this. Little Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet eating her curves and ways. Then came a spider that sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. Now I'm sure you can see it in your books. How beautiful she is. Now let us look at how many things are there in the picture. We can see that there is a one Miss Muffet. We can also see that there is a one curb and wave. We can also see that there is one spider. 
and I want you to fill in the number 1 in the boxes. Whilst you are doing that, let me try and explain the other exercise. Just below, there is a sequence of 1. On one dot, there is a big dot and the number 1. So I want you to fill that in as well. You make your big dot and the number 1. Remember, we start at the top and go down. Well done. If you are doing that right now, that is a great job. I can see my friend has done an excellent job here. Let us move on to the last part of this page. You can see that there is a number line. We have the number zero, but there is something missing. The number one is missing. So I would like you to please fill in that number one and then we can continue with our number line. Very good. Now let us count together. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you got up to ten, well done. Good job. Let's now move on to the next exercise. For this one, you are going to need different colors. You can see that there are three pictures there. And we are going to find out which one comes first. Now tell me, do you go and ride your bike before you sleep? or after you sleep. It's not clear. So let me help you for this one. What is the first thing that we do every day? We wake up in the morning. So I would like you to take your blue color. Take your blue color. Very good. And the middle picture where you can see the boy getting out of bed. Please, can you write your number one? Remember, we start at the top and go down when we're writing our number one. Very good. The next thing we have to do after getting up is to have a delicious breakfast. Can you see the picture? You are going to use the color red. So please take your color red and you're going to draw a number two inside that box. Don't worry if the two is not perfect, you can take your time. Very good. And the last thing that everybody wants to do is ride their bikes. So you are going to take your color green and you're going to write the number three in the box next to the picture. If you manage to do all of that, well done. You are a clever child. Now that you know how to write the number one, which is starting from the top and going to the bottom, we are now going to place things in order. Please turn to the next page on number 16. This page has pictures of a shovel, a book, and a bucket. There are three of them in line, and we want to find out which one will be first, which one is in the middle, and which one will be last. I'm going to ask you to color a specific one in each of them. Let's look at the shovel. Please wait and listen to me first. We have first, middle, and last. You can see that it is the same in your book. 
I would like you to later on please color the first shovel. Listen to me. If we move to the books, we also have first, middle, and last. I would like you to color the last book for me. And then, if we move to the buckets, we also have first, middle, and last. I would also like you to color the middle bucket. So whilst you are doing it at home, my friend here is going to be doing it for me and we can move on to the next part of our lesson. you enjoyed coloring for this exercise. If your work ended up like this, like my friend here, I want to say well done to you and also well done to my friend. So now you know first, middle and last. Before we go to the next exercise, I have a friend I want to introduce to you. He comes from Letterland and his name is Sammy Snake. So I am going to sing a song to introduce my friend Sammy Snake. Sammy Snake says in words, in words, in words. Sammy Snake says in words, he's hissing all the time. You can even sing that song again. Sammy Snake says in words, in words, in words. Sammy Snake says in words, he's hissing all the time. So this is how Sam Sammy Snake looks like. Sammy Snake starts at the dot that we can see here. And he's, his body comes round and round. He is always facing in this direction. And when you start your Sammy Snake, make sure you make a curve. Let's try together in the air. Take your finger and draw Sammy Snake in the air. Round and round. Very good. Let's try again. Round and round. Try and say it with me when you are also drawing, so that it helps you remember. Let's say it together. Round and round. So this is our friend today from Letterland, and his name is Sammy Snake. If you turn to the next page of the exercise, you are going to see Sammy Snake there waiting for you. There are different boxes that you need to draw Sammy Snake in. I'd like you to take your pencil and start at the top and you draw your Sammy Snake round and round. Then when you are finished, I want you to say, Hello, Mr. Sammy Snake. hope when you said hello Mr. Sammy Snake, he said Sss. And this is the end of our lesson. I want to thank you for joining us today and remember to practice safe social distancing. How do we do that? By stretching our hands out to check if we're touching anyone and in front of us. Thank you so much everybody. Have a great day. Bye. Hi everyone, I'm Joshi. And make sure to always make a helicopter circle stretching your arms out and spinning around like me. 
and make sure you're not touching anyone while doing this. Goodbye.